Is it possible, after centuries of mystery, that the enigmatic Oak Island treasure has finally been found? For years, the allure of untold riches and hidden artifacts of Oak Island has drawn treasure hunters and historians. Despite numerous attempts to uncover the island's secrets, disappointment seemed to be the only reward. But now, a seismic revelation has emerged, promising to shake our understanding to its core. Get ready to be amazed as we unveil the latest discoveries and an unprecedented breakthrough that may change everything. Oak Island is a 57-hectare privately owned island in Nova Scotia, Canada, surrounded by 360 small islands in Mahone Bay and rises 36 feet above sea level. Connected to the mainland by a causeway and gate, it sits 660 feet from the shore, facing the rural community of Western Shore and neighboring the village of Chester. Over the years, the island's fame has grown due to theories of buried treasure and historical artifacts, attracting numerous explorations. Its intrigue dates back to the late 18th century, when it was surveyed and divided into parcels of land. Even back then, it was known as Oak Island, holding the promise of hidden wonders. As time passed, explorers were drawn to this enigmatic land, captivated by the prospect of discovering boundless riches and unraveling its secrets. And now, after two centuries of speculation and countless failed attempts, the Oak Island treasure has finally been discovered by two brothers, Rick and Marty Lagina. What secrets did they uncover on this enigmatic island? What lies within the treasure? Well, by the end of this video, you'll find out about their latest discoveries. The Lagina brothers' journey is a compelling tale of hope, anticipation, and an unwavering determination to uncover the mysteries of Oak Island. Driven by their fascination with the island, they delved into extensive research, discovering evidence of ancient civilizations that once inhabited the area. Their relentless pursuit of treasure has been documented on the history show, The Curse of Oak Island, and their progress caught the attention of TV viewers and investors, making their quest a captivating story. With various tools, techniques, and divers at their disposal, the Lagina brothers worked tirelessly to narrow down potential treasure locations. Their efforts yielded intriguing artifacts like pottery, coins, wooden platforms, and enigmatic old documents written in code. Despite these discoveries, the buried treasure remained elusive, and the brothers faced disappointments in the early stages of their journey. However, during the third season of their quest, a significant breakthrough emerged. By draining a hole, they uncovered a Roman ceremonial sword, igniting hope that they were closing in on the long-sought treasure. This revelation even hinted at the possibility of Roman visits to Oak Island long before Christopher Columbus's renowned voyage. Still, the authenticity of the sword required further verification. Continuing their search, they stumbled upon a coin bearing the Knights Templar's cross, suggesting the secretive medieval group's potential presence in the island's history. As they uncovered ancient pottery fragments and artifacts from various civilizations, the island's rich and diverse history began to unfold, revealing many hidden secrets. Buoyed by their successful third season, the Lagina brothers pressed on with renewed determination in the fourth season. Their efforts led them to a meticulously crafted French map dating back to 1647. This map held the promise of crucial clues to the treasure's hidden location, hinting at a fascinating connection to Freemasons in their quest for buried treasure on Oak Island. To unravel the complexity of the map, they sought the expertise of Zena Halpern, a renowned historian and seafaring specialist. Her involvement added an intriguing dimension to the quest, as she deciphered the cryptic symbols and messages within the map. Zena Halpern's vast knowledge suggested that the map might be a copy of an even older source, potentially guiding a group of Freemasons on their treasure-seeking expedition. Her expertise impressed them, and they eagerly welcomed her as they believed her insights could lead them closer to the legendary treasure they had been seeking on Oak Island. With a combination of ancient relics, mysterious maps, and Xena's knowledge, their journey promised to be full of thrilling twists and turns. They were determined to unveil the island's secrets and uncover the hidden treasure that had captured the imaginations of explorers for generations. As they continued their determined quest, the Lagina brothers and Xena Halpern 
encountered a rubber boot that seemed to be connected to Franklin Roosevelt's work. This discovery fueled their enthusiasm, and they meticulously explored the island, hoping to uncover more significant leads. They discovered large amounts of wood, raising their hopes that they were getting closer to the origins of the treasure. The team also stumbled upon a precious piece of gold, leading to discussions and theories that they might be on the site explored back in 1909. Excitement mounted as they monitored the B4C shaft excavation, hoping it would lead them to a treasure chamber or a hidden vault, bringing them closer to the fabled riches they sought. Their belief in the right track was further reinforced by findings of wooden tunnels and high traces of gold and silver. They felt they were inching closer to the heart of the mystery, the original money pit. Their relentless search uncovered more pieces of wood and an iron fastener, dating back to the 1700s or even earlier. Each new find added to the puzzle of Oak Island's hidden past and the enigmatic treasure that had remained elusive for centuries. The moment of truth was approaching. They were on the verge of unlocking Oak Island's secrets, hoping to reveal the long-lost treasure that had fascinated explorers and adventurers for generations. The journey had been filled with twists and challenges, but they remained undeterred, knowing they were closer than ever to solving the mystery that had been shrouded in secrecy for so long. However, in the Money Pit area, they faced a mysterious problem at a depth of 80 feet in the TF1 shaft. A large boulder obstructed their progress, preventing them from removing the spoils. Nevertheless, they made intriguing discoveries during this obstacle, including old pieces of wood and a rubber boot. Investigation revealed the boot's origin from a Canadian rubber company in 1908 or 1909, sparking speculation about its connection to Franklin Delano Roosevelt's team during their search for the Money Pit's secrets. In the B4C shaft, they unearthed an iron spike, believed to be crafted by hand and possibly quite old. The ongoing excavation brought them to a depth of around 130 feet, where they encountered solid bedrock. This indicated that they were nearing the end of the season's digging, but the team remained hopeful and open to new technologies that could aid them in their treasure hunt. Their unwavering belief in the existence of gold and silver buried on the island fueled their determination to continue the quest. In their relentless pursuit of the Oak Island treasure, the Lagina brothers and their team then sought the expertise of blacksmithing expert Carmen Legg to gain insights into the Iron Spike's origins and age. After careful analysis, Leg revealed that the spike likely belonged to the original construction of the Money Pit, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the site. Undeterred by challenges, the team's determination remained unwavering as they pushed forward. Every discovery they made, such as the rubber boot and iron spike, brought them one step closer to unraveling the island's secrets and intensified their anticipation of finding the long-sought-after treasure. They understood the historical significance of these artifacts, recognizing the potential they held in unlocking Oak Island's mysterious past. With excitement building, the team eagerly awaited what other surprises the island had in store for them. Venturing into Oak Island's waters, the Lagina brothers and their team used a magnetometer to detect metal objects underwater. They encountered unusual signals, particularly near Frog Island, hinting at the possibility of a shipwreck. To verify this, they planned to conduct a non-invasive investigation with cameras and scanning devices, with the hope of gaining permission to dig and retrieve artifacts if signs of human activity were found. Diver Tony Sampson and underwater archaeologist Dr. Lee Spence confirmed the presence of a large metal object buried beneath the ocean floor. However, the challenging conditions of silt and vegetation made it difficult to obtain a clear view. Undeterred, they expanded their search area, revealing more potential evidence of a shipwreck obscured by rocks and kelp. The team eagerly awaited permission to excavate further and delve deeper into the mysteries that lay hidden beneath the waves. Meanwhile, metal detection expert Gary Drayton and treasure hunter Michael John focused on Lot 8, a part of Oak Island with intriguing discoveries. Ground-penetrating radar revealed a large metal anomaly, sparking interest in the area. 
The team also uncovered a man-made stone pathway feature and a garnet gemstone, leading to speculation about possible connections to the Knights Templar and the Ark of the Covenant. Searching for additional clues, they eagerly sought to validate their theories. As the team planned to continue their investigation into the potential shipwreck, their excitement grew. Yet, the uncertainty of securing a permit to proceed with excavation loomed. Meanwhile, as the Oak Island exploration continued, Rick, Lagina, and his team were back at the Interpretive Center, using cutting-edge imaging technology to analyze a possible parchment. They hoped to uncover more clues about the island's well-kept secrets. Amidst their research, they stumbled upon another thrilling discovery, a replica of a 16th-century cannon. Its size matched the shots used during that period, leading the team to speculate that it might have been brought to the island to safeguard something of immense significance. The team strongly believed that the cannon's presence could be connected to the wooden tunnels they had previously found, as well as the high concentrations of silver and gold in the area. This discovery was crucial in their quest to unveil the island's rich history. Driven by their curiosity, Rick Lagina and his team embarked on a journey to Quinta da Regalera, an ancient palace in Portugal dating back to the early 1900s. Here they made a remarkable revelation. The Knights Templar had once managed the palace, using it for their Masonic and Templar rituals. As they explored an initiation well on the property, they couldn't help but notice that it had nine levels, mirroring the nine levels described in the original money pit on Oak Island. This intriguing connection raised numerous questions about the well's design and its potential link to the enigmatic mystery of Oak Island and its famous money pit. The team encountered mysterious empty spaces during their investigations, hinting at the possibility of a hidden treasure vault. This led to a compelling theory that the initiation well might be a replica of the money pit, suggesting a potential connection between the two. To delve deeper into these captivating possibilities, the team traveled to Portugal, where they visited the historic church of Fontarcada. Believed to be one of the first lands granted to the Knights Templar, the church held significant importance. As they examined the church, they discovered various symbols and markings resembling those found on Oak Island. These findings ignited discussions about the potential significance of these symbols and their potential ties to the Templars. The realization that more answers lay in Tomar led the team to plan a trip there for further investigation. The history of the Knights Templar and their potential connections to Oak Island was steeped in mystery and intrigue. Renowned for their bravery and wealth, the Knights Templars were known to have hidden their treasures in various locations. The Convento de Cristo in Portugal served as their headquarters, and over time, they evolved into the Order of Christ, shrouding their secrets in even greater secrecy. The team's ongoing research hinted at the possibility of these secretive medieval knights playing a significant role in Oak Island's enigmatic past. Now, as the team on Oak Island continued their search, they unearthed fascinating discoveries that pointed towards historical naval activity. Pieces of wood found seemed to be linked to ancient ships, supporting Scott Clark's theory. The swamp also held promise, with Fred Nolan's discovery of ship-related artifacts, fueling speculation that it might harbor even more valuable items. Each new find brought them closer to the ultimate revelation, a discovery that could rewrite history and unveil the long-lost treasures concealed beneath the island's surface. The Lagina Brothers' quest sparked curiosity and fascination worldwide, uniting explorers, historians, and dreamers in their belief in the power of persistence and determination. Amidst their treasure hunt, they also stumbled upon a remarkable find, an ancient bookbinding containing cryptic indications of a secret message. Intrigued, they followed the intricate clues, leading them to a vast ancient text written in an unknown language. Recognizing the potential significance of the encrypted message, they bravely embraced the challenge of deciphering and translating it, hoping it would unlock the hidden location of legendary riches buried deep within the island's depths. As their journey progressed, they made another significant discovery, a parchment revealing the names William Chapel and Frederick Blair. The parchment recounted an enthralling tale from the 15th century, narrating the discovery of a secret vault rumored to hold abundant gold and precious items. 
This revelation added yet another layer of excitement and mystery to their quest, compelling them to delve even deeper and unveil the enigmatic history of Oak Island. Each step they took brought them closer to the truth, holding the potential to reshape our understanding of history and unveil long-buried secrets of the past. With unwavering determination and hope, they ventured deeper into the island's depths, eager to unlock the ancient enigmas that lay dormant for centuries. Meanwhile, this journey of the Lagina brothers and their team can be traced back to Rick Lagina's childhood obsession. At the tender age of 10, he stumbled upon a massive granite boulder in Kingsford and dreamt of uncovering hidden treasure within it. This youthful passion ignited a lifelong quest for adventure, eventually leading them to Oak Island. Their team expanded to include seasoned explorer Dan Blankenship, a living legend with a wealth of experience in exploring Nova Scotia. Blankenship and his son played a pivotal role in unearthing significant elements of the island's mystery, revealing intricately designed booby traps within the money pit and uncovering stones at Smith's Cove, adding complexity and excitement to the quest. Despite numerous obstacles, such as water flooding the excavation site, the team's resilience never wavered. A breakthrough came when Craig Tester's ingenious solution of freezing the water enabled them to make headway in their mission. Each stride they made brought them closer to the answers they tirelessly sought. While the fabled treasure hoard has yet to be discovered, their passion, shared by many, continues to ignite hope that one day the secrets of Oak Island will be unveiled and its hidden treasures will finally bask in the light of day. Subscribe to Beyond Discovery and see you in the next episode.